So let's talk about amnesia. People with amnesia tend to have spared implicit memories. So they lose their explicit memories, but they keep their implicit memories longer. And as a result of that, they're perfectly capable of performing procedures, of doing things, right? Of um, uh, playing golf or going swimming or walking. The fact that people with amnesia or dementia um, can still use their implicit memories, even though they've lost their most of their explicit memories, lets us know that there's some separation in the neural processes between implicit and explicit memory. Now you may be wondering, wow, I wonder how awful it is to have amnesia. Well, newsflash, you have amnesia too. Um, there's something called childhood amnesia. Very few people can remember memories from their early childhood. Do you remember being born? Do you remember your first birthday? How about your second birthday? Yeah, me neither. A few people say they do, uh, but checking them for, checking those memories for their accuracy is another question. So for example, I have very vivid memories of being in the car when my parents uh, brought my younger sister home from the hospital after she was born. Didn't happen, I wasn't there. It must have been some other time that we were driving in the car, but in my head, that was the day we brought Genevieve home from the hospital. Um, so you always have to check to see if the memories are, are accurate. But anyway, if you ask college students to write down their earliest memories, usually those memories come from the age of about five, maybe preschool memories, something like that. Maybe learning how to ride a bicycle, four or five. Not too many people remember events from their first year or their second year or their third year of life. So you have amnesia for your early childhood and how much does that bother you? Not much, does it? I wanna spend a little time talking about a man named Clive Waring who has the worst case of amnesia that scientists have ever identified. So Clive Waring, um, for the first 47 years of his life, lived in Britain, uh, studied music. He was a conductor and a pianist. He sang just everything. He was an expert about all things related to music. In his 40s, he got a virus, uh, herpes encephalitis. And remember, encephalitis is swelling from the brain, and that damaged both of his hippocampi, so his hippocampus on each side of his brain. And as a result, unfortunately for Clive, he experienced devastating amnesia, both, remember we've talked about forward and backward, anterior grade and retrograde? Clive Waring has both. Um, he cannot form new memories and he's lost almost all of his past memories. He can hold uh, explicit memories, short-term memories, in memory for somewhere between seven and 30 seconds. Um, yet, his implicit memories, his knowledge of how to sing, and his knowledge of how to play the piano, and his knowledge of how to get up and open a door, how doors work, implicitly, perfectly intact, he's fine. It's just the explicit memories, but he's really lost a lot of them. So unfortunately for Clive, he cannot remember his children. He cannot remember that he has children. The only person he remembers is his wife. And you're gonna see from this video, it's amazing. Clearly he remembers that he absolutely adores his wife. So each time his wife comes back in the room for Clive Waring, it's as if he's seeing her after a tremendously long separation. Um, I've noted a few lines from his journal. What would your journal look like if you could only remember back about 30 seconds? Well, his journal says, I am alive. I'm finally awake. I have received no information of any kind. No doctor has ever helped him. No doctor has ever seen him. You'll see, he has some pretty strong opinions. So the procedural memory is there. You'll see his piano playing but the explicit memories for just about everything except his wife are gone.
watch this video. I really want you to watch this video. It will stop you in your tracks. Once the video is done, that'll be the end of this lecture and the conclusion of Unit 12 for my students. Okay, enjoy this. It's wild. One man is consigned to live entirely within the present with terrible consequences. Clive Waring has the worst case of amnesia ever known. Twenty years ago, he lost his memory, and now his wife, Deborah, is the only person he recognizes. less than 30 seconds memory and sometimes it's as little as perhaps seven seconds it's as little as a sentence i'm going to see your sister adele her daughter's got married recently uh, oh, she? in new zealand uh -huh. and so they're having a party funny how the ladies acquire a different title when they get married do you know who i'm going to see tomorrow uh bucking pals no really guess i do don't you, know you don't know mm. adele oh i see do you, know, do you know why I'm going? No. She's having a party at her house tomorrow. It's her birthday, isn't it? No. Yeah. Do you know why? No. It's to do with her daughter. I yeah, see. Sure. Do you why know why her daughter's having a party? No. Guess. No, I don't. She's just got married. Oh, I see. She's just got married in... Do you know what country she just got married in? No, I don't. In New Zealand. Oh, I see. Yeah. The sentence he is in, he will probably have forgotten the sentence before. You ask him a question uh, and he'll give you an answer, but while he's giving you the answer, he's already forgotten the question. That's how short it is. I'm going to see your kids tomorrow. You're going to see my kids? Yeah, your children. What are they up to now? Do you know what they're up to no, now? No, no. Guess what you think they're up to. No, I couldn't guess. I don't know what their levels were. They hadn't got their level last time I was conscious. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what possible thing they could do, do they? Yep. No, I couldn't could possibly guess. What? Where do you think they are? I don't know. I don't know where I am. Yep. All he has well. is void behind him. That's been like death. I've never seen a human being before. Never had a dream or a thought. The brain has been totally inactive. Day and night the same. No thoughts at all. And as far as I'm concerned, the doctors have been totally incompetent. I've never seen a doctor. The whole time. <gasps> oh, look, it's come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're wonderful. That's a very musical kiss. Mm. I'm dizzy. I don't know which part of the room I'm standing in. <laughs> Can we dance?